What is up you guys, it is Tumais45 here and in this video I'm going to be giving you guys a quick look and an overview of Android 4.4 KitKat on the MyPhone Ocarillo model, um, the S5501 and this is the version 2, this isn't the version 1 but it should look pretty much the same across every version of the MyPhone Ocarillo. And just to prove to you guys that this is a MyPhone Knocker Reel, I'm going to go into my settings, then to about phone. And as you guys can see here, my model number is MyPhone Knocker Reel. And at the bottom, it says S5501. And as you guys can see, my Android version is Android 4.4.2 KitKat. And as you guys can see, this is the animation for um, This is the uh, Easter egg for android 4.4.2 so yes i am not kidding this is android kitkat on the my phone ocarillo okay so guys this is so to begin with um this is the launcher itself hold on guys okay so this is not a lock screen obviously this is a lock screen that i downloaded i'll just go ahead and show you guys the regular lock screen hang on just let me edit it in my security okay slide okay let's try that again Yeah, it's not showing up. But anyways, this is the launcher itself. It appeals, obviously, when you first buy the phone, it obviously appeals to stock Android from Google. This is what Android KitKat looks like straight from Google. And uh, this is the wallpaper it comes with. This is how it organizes your screen without you organizing the icons on your own. Obviously, in your dock, you'll have your... You'll see your um, contacts, your phone app, um, your messaging app, and your browser that comes with your phone. And since this is Android 4.4 KitKat, you obviously get the new, you obviously get the, um, the translucent and the transparent um, notification bar at the top. And these buttons here at the bottom, the these on-screen buttons do not come with the phone, obviously, because you have your own buttons for the phone itself. I just got these because I'm rooted, but uh, yeah, I'll probably talk about that in another video. But anyways, yeah, you get all the uh, great features that Android 4, 4 offers. You got you get to edit which um runtime you want to use here in your developer options. You can change it to Art or to Dalvik. And um, I'm using Dalvik right now because I don't really want to use art. And notification standard still looks the same. Um, the uh, quick settings here obviously changed because I changed it. But yeah, they look almost as similar to the Jelly Bean version of the MyFunk Reel. They, they, obvious, they still look pretty much the same. And these are one of the wallpapers they come with. They, they also bundled their own wallpapers here like these these are some of the wallpapers that they bring to android kitkat and um obviously you can tap on widgets to add a widget and if you tap on settings it'll stick you straight to the settings app of your phone and obviously in android 4.4 you get you get um support for um messaging apps so you can change your messaging app to whatever you want you don't need to use the stock messaging app like for me for example i'm using the jump sms app from the google play store that you can download and obviously as well you'll be able to change your launcher straight from your settings as well with the new home option here you'll obviously be able to change your launcher to whatever third-party launcher you downloaded from Google Play Store easily from settings and that much has really changed in the settings here not much has really uh, been customized everything now seems more white but there are still some elements in the OS that still appear 
that still appeal to Andrew Jelly Bean. Like, as you guys probably see here, this ticker here is blue instead of white. And, um, what else? Not much really has changed here. You obviously get the new search bar here at the top, which takes you into Google Now if you already set it up. And, um, yeah, you get the new trans transparent notification bar at the top. And, uh, what else not much has really changed the camera works fine the and obviously you can get a new camera you can also get the google camera which only supports android 4.4 and above and obviously the new app drawer is transparent to your wallpaper so you'll be able to see your wallpaper behind all of your apps when you open the app drawer just like so and um camera works fine texting calls still work as usual, everything still operates the same way as it did on Android Jelly Bean. You just get a new, fresh, and cleaner look from Android KitKat in the same way that Google presented Android KitKat. And um, so far, I haven't really noticed any bugs. Everything seems to be working just fine. Keyboard's fine. The, uh, the keyboard, obviously, is new. Um, I'll give you guys a quick look at that. The keyboard is obviously new not this but yeah the keyboard is obviously white now and um the keyboard's obviously white everything's new it it um not much has really changed with the keyboard everything still operates the same you just get a more hollow look to it like you get a more fresher look like the white look that Android KitKat brings and um, obviously um, so far I haven't really noticed anything just like I said I haven't noticed any bugs or whatever I haven't noticed any lag with this in fact I'm I'm I've noticed some slight improvements of KitKat to Jelly Bean. I've noticed a few improvements so far that helped me navigate the os better it optimizes my apps better my app my battery doesn't die as quick now and overall android kitkat seems seems to be doing just fine hopefully someday they will bring android lollipop to this but as of the date of this video they don't have any but if they do i will obviously make a video on it but um so far guys yeah you should be okay with this and yeah, everything seems to be working fine. Nothing new, nothing groundbreaking, nothing that really sets my phone apart from Android KitKat. And so far, my overall impressions of Android KitKat on this phone seem to be pretty positive so far. Now, if you want to get this on your specific my phone offer real, I'll leave a link to the tutorial that I watched. I'll leave a link in the video description below on how to you know, flash Android KitKat to this phone. Um, it's not my video, it's someone else's, so do keep that in mind. It's not my own tutorial, but maybe someday I will do one, but not right now. But anyways, I will leave a link. I left a link in the video description below to a video where they'll teach you how to flash Android KitKat on this phone. And uh, either way, guys, that is it. That is my quick look and my overview of Android KitKat on the MyPhone Aqua Rio the s5501 version 2 now if you guys like this video feel free to give it a thumbs up because that would definitely help me out and if you have any suggestions on what i should do next or if you have any problems with this whatsoever feel free to let me know in the comment section below and while you're at it feel free to subscribe to my youtube channel because i got tons of more content coming your way and thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys will like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. I left all those links in the video description below. Once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. This is Demisa45, signing off.